A Cincinnati landlord is charged with stalking one of his female tenants while he was under a court protection order to stay away from her. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham has been looking into the John Klosterman case for years. Craig was in court today when Klosterman was arraigned. John Klosterman. Court records show John Klosterman has been charged twice in the last two months with stalking the same woman. He's also been charged three times with violating the court protection order requiring him to stay away from her. That woman rents a house from Klosterman in the west side Cincinnati neighborhood of Sedamsville. I live in fear. I can't feel safe in my own home. This is the woman accusing Klosterman of stalking her. The I-team agreed to protect her identity because she's an alleged crime victim who is afraid and believes that she's less at risk in her own neighborhood if we don't identify her. I'm so stressed out. I, uh, recently I woke up and I was like pulling my eyelashes out in my sleep. I'm like... <sighs> And the thing is, that he just laughs about it. He thinks he's not doing anything wrong. Klosterman denies stalking her. He pleaded not guilty in court on Thursday. Klosterman's most recent charges come just one month after he and his wife, Sue, reached a consent decree with the U.S. Attorney's Office that bans them from renting or managing residential rental properties. Under the consent decree, the Klostermans are also required to pay $167,000 to 20 other women who said John violated the Fair Housing Act by sexually harassing them while they rented from him. Dozens of Klosterman's properties are now in receivership. According to court records, Klosterman lost control of his properties to the receivership because he had failed to pay a $578,000 court judgment against him for unpaid city taxes, violations, and fees. Judge Kirk Kissinger set Klosterman's bond at $150,000 and will require him to wear an electronic monitoring device. Klosterman's alleged victim will have a device in her house that will alert the probation department and police when Klosterman is within a two-mile radius of her home. I do feel a little safer with that. At least if he comes in the area, I'll know. Craig Cheatham, WCPO 9, I-Team.